Kasser, Sunstein, too much information, understanding what you don't want to know. Welcome to the enlightening world of, too much information, understanding what you don't want to know, by Cass R. Sunstein. This book summary captivates readers as it delves into the delicate balance between the accessibility of information and overall human welfare. Throughout the summary, the author expounds upon when to divulge information or withhold it, the cost-benefit analysis of providing data, and the impact of disclosure on people's decision-making processes. Sunstein explores various relevant contexts such as nutrition, consumer behavior, and social media usage while contemplating the complex nature of information utilization. The Double-Edged Sword of Information Information is a powerful tool that helps us make better decisions in life. It provides us with vital facts and figures that guide our actions and shape our future. However, information can also be a source of misery and distress. Cass R. Sunstein, a former White House administrator, explores the benefits and drawbacks of mandatory disclosure policies that require the release of information on topics like nutrition, workplace safety, and fuel emissions. While policymakers and advocates argue that access to information is critical to achieving autonomy, Sunstein's research shows that most people are not interested in calorie labels. In fact, they are willing to pay real money not to see them. This paradox raises questions about the appropriate role of mandatory disclosure policies in protecting public health and well-being. Sunstein illustrates the dilemma of disclosure policies by recounting a personal experience. When his father was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor, his mother decided not to disclose the prognosis to him, believing that ignorance would make him happier. While this decision spared his father from immediate distress, it also denied him the chance to prepare for the future and deprived him of the autonomy to make informed choices. Sunstein's message is clear, information is not always a panacea. The value of knowing something depends on how it affects our well-being. Disclosure policies should strike a balance between protecting individuals' right to privacy and providing them with the information they need to live fulfilling lives. In conclusion, the double-edged sword of information reminds us that knowledge can be both a blessing and a curse. It empowers us to make better decisions, but it also exposes us to risks and uncertainties. As Sunstein aptly states, one size does not fit all. Information, love it or avoid it. People seek or avoid information based on its emotional impact. They seek information that provides pleasure or has practical value, while avoiding that which is distressing. Information can impact decisions and behaviors positively or negatively. Sunstein's study reveals that many people don't want to be informed, even if the information affects their choices. The value of mandatory disclosure. The worthiness of mandated disclosures is determined by considering their impact on human welfare. The FDA's proposed cigarette package changes were aimed at increasing people's awareness of smoking's health hazards to promote public health. However, some argue for access to information regardless of the welfare component, as it enables citizens to make informed decisions. Before enforcing disclosure, the benefits and costs, their measurement, and whether the disclosed information would do more good than harm must be considered. The value of disclosure is its impact on human welfare, for example, a GPS helps guide you to a destination, no swimming sign alerts you to danger, and allergy warnings on food products save lives. However, researchers contend that excessive mandatory disclosure may lead to people tuning out. Pages of mortgage documents and medical privacy forms seem useless to average consumers and do not affect their behavior, creating enormous waste. A central question is what types of information people need to be autonomous, and assessing the effects of mandatory disclosure can be daunting. The Limits of Mandated Disclosure The study, The Failure of Mandated Disclosure, delves into the limitations of regulatory mandates on mandatory disclosure. The study makes a distinction between mandated disclosure and information provision, stating that offering information can enable consumer autonomy. However, regulatory mandates can have unintended adverse effects as they tend to neglect heterogeneity. 
Human beings react to receiving information in various ways, with limited attention, inattention to missing information, and motivated attention. People have limits regarding how much attention they can devote to information at any given time and don't consciously decide what to heed. In fact, people show less concern about missing information than about the information they see. Psychologically, individuals may also choose to ignore negative information, which can impact their decision-making. For example, many people at risk of Huntington's disease avoid getting tested until symptoms appear. In conclusion, the study warns that regulatory mandates are like blunt swords and encourage the need for alternative methods of regulation. The value of social media, would you pay? Social media has become an integral part of our lives, and we rely on it for communication and information. However, the question of how much we value its services remains controversial, and the possibility of a transformed business model is being considered. This book summary delves into the issue of assigning an economic value to social media and explores factors such as willingness to pay, WTP, and willingness to accept, WTA. Despite evidence suggesting that social media use leads to anxiety and dissatisfaction, people still place a high value on it. The endowment effect proposes that people will demand more money to stop using social media than they would spend on it initially. In 2018, a survey of Facebook users revealed that on average, people would pay $7.38 per month to use Facebook, while they would demand $74.99 per month to stop using it. The book raises the question of how social media users can accurately capture the welfare effects of a good they have never had, and what implications this could have for a transformed social media business model. Social media and well-being Social media platforms like Facebook may provide value to users, but a 2018 survey found that leaving the platform can elevate well-being and reduce political polarization. Users may go online habitually, unaware of the negative effects of social media on mental health. Social media platforms like Facebook present themselves as valuable and ubiquitous aspects of modern life. Still, it begs the question why so many people express dissatisfaction and apathy towards these platforms. Some individuals may utilize social media habitually or out of boredom, recognizing that they are spending time on platforms that provide little value. A 2018 survey conducted by economist Hunt Alcott and his team at New York University examined the effects of leaving Facebook on nearly 3,000 users. The survey concluded that users who left the platform displayed an improved sense of well-being and a notable reduction of political polarization. Leaving social media even granted users an additional hour of free time every day, making the decision to leave a desirable one. Despite the benefits of leaving social media platforms, Facebook alone has an excess of 172 million users in the United States alone, indicating that social media provides some level of value. However, what many users do not realize is the negative impact social media can have on mental health, particularly depression and anxiety. Users may even continue to use social media despite their awareness of its negative effects, such as increased anger and upset that come with following political content. This may be attributed to a human yearning for connectedness, even at the cost of mental well-being and productivity. As we conclude our journey through the summary of too much information, it becomes clear that individuals ought to weigh the prospective benefits and consequences of receiving new information. From Cass Sunstein's experiences and research, readers discover that not all information contributes to human welfare or happiness, and sometimes ignorance is bliss. Mandatory disclosure obligations and social media platforms must be carefully examined for their impact on society's mental and emotional well-being. Thus, taking into consideration the results, the prudent management of information can lead to better decision-making and elevated quality of life.